Hi, welcome to Harry's PixInsight video tutorials. If there's one tool worth getting to know in PixInsight, it's DBE. Only with good gradient removal will you be able to get the best from your image. DBE does what it says on the tin and creates a model of the background with all the defects, like the genetting and gradients, which will then subtract from the image to remove the defects. This is a linear one-shot colour image of M106 from my previous video tutorials. We also have the screen transfer function active so we can see what we're working with. OK, let's select the DBE tool. We need to place some samples on the free background area so DBE can do its magic. You can manually place these one at a time by clicking on the image, particularly good with difficult images. But to start with, I'm going to use the sample generation to automatically place some on the screen. I need to click on the image to activate the tool and I'm just going to set a default radius of 14 and about 20 samples per row which is about right for this image but you'll have to experiment for your own and let's click generate but now so we have some samples on the screen not enough to cover all the background areas this is because DB is trying to help you not put them in places you do not want to but it does not always work, particularly with these images like this that have large illumination errors. To help, we can lower the minimum sample weight, which I'll do here. Re-click Generate. We still don't have enough, so for this particular image I'm just going to finish off putting them in one at a time with the mouse. Just click the mouse in the free background areas, making sure we get them particularly in the corners there's one over here, I'm not trying to escape and a few around we are looking for quality of samples not particularly the quantity do not worry about these samples being red for the moment we'll sort that out shortly we also do not want samples over areas of interest like the edge of M106 and you can highlight these with your mouse and press delete on the keyboard to delete them or you can just grab hold of them with your mouse and drag them out of the way. You also do not want samples near bright stars but don't worry about faint scars as DBE is very good at ignoring these. Now let's have a look at the model parameters. If you look at this box this is showing the contents of a sample we have selected on the screen which is this particular one here at the moment and the contents wants to be fairly light but if you look at the red samples they are black and as it says down here it's a bad sample colour this means that the sample will be ignored by the DBE model and this is not good because we want the edges to be included and we can get them included by altering the tolerance level now 0.5 is the normal default setting but experience tells me that if I alter this to 0.9 and just click on resize all to update the screen we'll then bring them within the background model try and keep this tolerance level as low as possible with difficult images I've used numbers as low as 0 0.5 and numbers as high as 3 ok I've finished with the sample generation because that's all this panel did here was help me generate samples to put on the screen and I don't need to alter the model parameters anymore Next I need to look at the target image correction and the correction I'm going to make is subtraction which is what we do for images with multiple errors vigilating and light pollution. For this image I'm just going to discard the background model so it's not displayed on screen and you can leave the rest default. And we're now ready for some PixInsight DBA magic. Click on execute. OK, we have our newly generated image, and of course it's in linear form, so we need to apply a stream transfer function to it, so we can see what's happening. OK, it's overstretched it a bit, so we'll just knock it back a little bit. Let's 
minimize that down cancel db okay drag this down here for a look before and after I think you're admit pretty impressive stuff now this image is really an easy target for DBE as we have plenty of background areas to work with so let's have a quick look at a slightly harder case just go to another workspace case okay, so an image of the cone and Christmas tree cluster and I've saved a process icon stream transfer function down here you can apply it to the image by just literally dragging it the image like this very handy sometimes or I'll just disable this or by double clicking the icon and applying it to the images that's normal now if I double click on the DB in process icon I bring up the interface and place on the image the samples that I saved earlier this image has been calibrated but has a severe gradient from left to right good old light pollution eh? I place these one at a time trying to pick three background areas as you can see in this particular image there aren't very many do try and get your samples into the corner and I'll add one or two extra being careful where you place them try to keep the background areas only as you can see compared to the last image I haven't put very many samples on at all let me look at the model parameters I'm going to leave this all default settings this time 0.5 is perfectly okay that says not large illumination areas so it seems to cope quite reasonably with the default settings shut that up and I'm going to pick subtraction like you do in 99.99% of cases and this time I'm going to display the background model for us to have a look at close that up and apply it to the image Right, this time we have the background model and the corrected image. Let's have a look at the background model to start with. And again, they're both in the linear form. I'll just apply an auto STF. And as you can see, it's made a pretty good estimate of the gradient in the image. And this is the model that has been removed from the image. Shut that down. Okay, I'll just close down DB as well. Apply a stretch to the new image. minimize this again impressive stuff after I've applied DB I personally like to save my image but at the risk of being boring do not forget you are saving a linear image so if I disable the stream transfer function when you save it you're saving a dark linear image permanent alterations are done with a histogram transformation tool or curves this being the subject of another video. Hope that's been a help. See you again. Bye.